Welcome back. In this lesson, we will go over EC2 virtualization. I want to go over this just so we have a general idea of what server virtualization in AWS is. So, what is server virtualization and why is it better than a traditional server? And how can we leverage it in the cloud? Well, a virtual server is just that. It's a server that has been virtualized. That's great, Victor, but what does that mean? It means that we have a virtual layer called the hypervisor, which orchestrates and handles all the hardware and it allocates it to a server based on the configurations you create. For example, let's say we have this regular EC2 instance that requires a regular amount of CPU and storage. Well, the hypervisor will allocate the hardware that is located inside the rack to that configuration and no other configuration can use it because it is reserved. The operating system running on top of this server will see the CPU, the RAM, storage, and the network card, just like if it was running on top of regular hardware. To the operating system, nothing is different. It doesn't even know if the hardware is physically separated between these two racks. Now, let's say we have an EC2 server that requires more storage and more compute power. We can use the hypervisor to allocate those hardware needs to our configuration. Again, the operating system won't know the difference. All it knows is what it has to operate. And if we decide we no longer need the server configuration, we can delete the physical server and the reservation will get released back into the pool of available resources. That's a big difference between a regular server. With a regular server, we have to guess what kind of capacity we will need in order to meet our workload demands. Let's say we buy an overpowered Intel processor with 64 gigabytes of RAM and a 10 terabyte SSD, but we only end up using 15% of the computing power. Well, we have wasted resources and we can't reconfigure it because we've already purchased the equipment. With an EC2 instance, we can simply change our instance size. That is what makes virtualization a game changer. And when we do it in AWS, we don't have to worry about the physical hardware because again, that is the responsibility of AWS. Let's move on to comparing the traditional server versus EC2 instances. Again, traditional servers are pre-configured for your workloads, but this is guessing the capacity needs, which in turn creates wasted resources. With EC2 instances, we can stop guessing about the capacity. Like mentioned earlier in the course, AWS is looking to solve this ongoing issue with an OPEX or operational cost model because there's no need to purchase hardware, only pay for what you need. Traditional servers are harder to scale and upgrade. With EC2 instances, we get the flexibility of upgrading when we want or when our workload demands it. Traditional servers can be a single point of failure because they are harder to auto scale and auto balance. With EC2 instances, we design with failure in mind. So we usually incorporate auto scaling groups and auto balancing across availability zones so that our end users don't experience a drop in service. With EC2 instances, we can run hundreds to thousands of servers and instances all on the same hardware. With a traditional server, this would be impossible. Let's move on to the types of virtualizations. I think this slide is probably more than what you'll need for the exam, but I definitely think you should know it. We have type two hypervisor or known as a hosted hypervisor. The reason it is called a hosted hypervisor is because it is installed on top of an operating system. So it is hosted by an operating system. So we have the hardware and then we install an operating system on the hardware. 
and within the OS, we install a hypervisor, which in turn, we install our virtual machines. Then we have a type one hypervisor, or known as a bare metal hypervisor. The reason it is called a bare metal hypervisor is because we install the hypervisor directly on the hardware. There is no operating system between the hypervisor and the hardware like the type 2 kind. And like the type 2 kind, we can run the virtual machines on top of the hypervisor. Can you guess which one AWS and the other cloud providers use? If you guess the type 1 hypervisor, you would be right. AWS specifically uses XEN and the KVM, or the kernel-based virtual machine, which are both open-sourced hypervisor technology that runs on x86 hardware. I hope in this video, I help further understand how EC2 instances and EC2 virtualization work and the benefits of using it. I'll see you in the next video.